Hey, welcome back to KNK Visual Productions. I'm Karthik, and today we're gonna learn how to create imperfections inside Blender. So at first, uh, let's create a plane, and uh, then let's go to shading. And here we can see we don't have a material for our surface. So let's add a new material. Uh, so let's click on new and we will get a new material for our surface so now we have got a new principal bsdf and uh, let's make it the base color as black you can add any color you want it's up to you and i'm gonna reduce the roughness because i'm going to make it a glossy and reflective surface uh, so that we can see the imperfections properly on the surface now in real life we will never see an object uh, especially a reflective object this clean right unless and until it's 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 like a brand new a product without a human touch and we are not dealing with a brand new product we are dealing with normal objects with a human fingerprints so first of all i have already downloaded the fingerprint roughness map so you can find this roughness map from any 3d uh, websites and if you are wondering from where i downloaded this I downloaded this from uh, Pixel Bridge. So first of all, this is not a sponsored video, but still, I'm strongly recommending you to download Pixel Bridge if you are dealing with highly realistic texturings and rendering. So once you have got this uh, imperfection roughness map, you can uh, download any kind of imperfections like uh, fingerprints or scratches or anything. It's up to you. So just add that roughness uh, map to our sharing tab and just connect that to our roughness node. So once once you just connect that you can see some imperfections but the problem is uh, in real life we will not see this kind of fingerprints right so in order to make this uh, realistic we just need to add a new node uh, it's very simple just uh, shift a and uh, search for color ramp so once again search for color ramp and add that in between our roughness map and to our roughness node so once you place that uh, color ramp in between roughness map and roughness node it will just automatically snap in between something like this perfect now if you see there's no change at all because we have not done anything so uh, what you have to do is uh, we can see there's a black line and a white line what you have to do is select the black line and drag it to right so the moment you drag it to the right you can see our glossy and reflective surfaces coming back so once you have satisfied with the amount of imperfection you want you can just stop and that's it so if you want to add any kind of imperfections like fingerprints or scratches or any kind of imperfections all the methods are same exact the same so that's it guys for today's tutorial i hope you loved it if you are still watching this video that means you really loved it so why don't you subscribe me and help me grow so that's it guys once again you're watching kn k visual productions i'm karthik and i'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care